So, the Undying returns. Again. And with that comes this Undying DLC pack thing which will surely be worth the 4 quid I'm about to spend on it. Spoiler alert. It won't be. But that's the point of these sort of videos. I buy these things so that you don't have to. Even though I'm already in crippling debt to about 5 different people but that's besides the point. So before we hop into this Ouroboros. arcade thing, I wanna see what cosmetics we get from this pack. Right so obviously we get the suit with the eye patch. I guess that's cool, but then you remember that you already get this suit for killing the guy in the regular elusive target mission that's out at the moment, just without the eye patch, so a decent bulk of your purchase is to just have an extra thing on your face. Amazing, but don't you worry, we've been graced with even more content. We're really getting the best bang for our buck here, because we have fortunately been graced with more than just a wee eye patch, since we also get some more customization for our safe house. So we got a new counter, this giant clock thing, a wee office desk thing with some wine on it, a wee robot whose insides have been carved out so that 47 can have a comfy wee chair. Then we got this sorta lounge area thing which looks pretty nice. Man this shit looks like the type of setup that I'd have in an apartment in Night City, but fuck it, it's some decent enough customization. Oh and ah, uh, we also get this giant robot hand emerging from the ground, as is per usual in most garden areas. But yeah, if customization matters that much to you, and if this looks in any way enticing, you might as well go for it if you have the spare money, but this is of course not for everyone, myself included. But anyway, with all that said and done, let's go and get the bean. Right yo, the first level is to stab the guy with the pen. Seems easy enough, I mean the game pretty much just holds your hand all the way through this mission, so I should be sweet. And since I got some bonus shit, I feel obligated to use it to take out this guy, even though they're literally just reskins of pre-existing assets. 4 quid by the way, just feel like I gotta mention that every like minute or so. 4 quid. Our informant is waiting for you in the reception area. If you like, he can lead you to a meeting where Faber will be in attendance. You must be Dave Reddy. Yes, you're the one I've been expecting. The special guest. I can get you inside the meeting, but that's it. You can't go in dressed like that. You'll need to look like an engineer or one of the lab guys or, or a guard, I guess. Would this work for the meeting? That's not gonna work. Come on, man. Work with me here. How about this? No, oh, no, no. That's completely wrong. Is this all right? No, man, that, that's not okay. <laughs> How's this? Where'd you find that? Never mind. I don't want to know. That is Mark Faber. So, we Possibly finally the meet. most elusive man in the history you don't of quite the ICA. Look like I expected. I think I need to stretch my legs for a few. Keep at it. They were drawn up to my specifications, yes. Ah, so that explains the untraditional nature of the work. I like and that's you going into that pen, my son. Easy enough. Okay, fine. You got me. Random bullshit. Go. Run, 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 run. Oh, I forgot to pick this up. Well, may as well use it. Catch. Hello. Welcome. Oh. Well, I just poked Sean Bean's eye out with a pen, stabbed another guy in the face with another pen, which then exploded, and then I permanently damaged the receptionist's vision for no reason. So all in all, a pretty successful mission. Right, second level. Okay then, so pretty much just the same shite. But I can kill him in any way I want. Hey, you! Same guy! You I'm gonna bring you down! You don't look at all like I expected. I'm Mark Faber. I have one of those forgettable faces. Uh, that's not Dave Reddy, sir. This is just a guy who works here. Right. I just work here. Knife on the table over there. Quick throw. Knife through the head. Open fire! Target is in the clear! Run, 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 run. Oh. 
Give me that shotgun real quick. Thank you. And there you go. Easy as you like. Except for, you know, the multiple unnecessary murders, but just ignore those. And now for the final level. Ah, I see. This is when the game decides to be bullshit and makes some forced restrictions for no goddamn reason. Sick. Well, all I gotta do is just not change disguise, and I'll be sorted. Be mindful though. You will not wait around for long. Oh my god I'm an actual dumbass I swear to god. I literally forgot one of the two rules that the game forced on me literal seconds after I read them. I just by instinct went for that disguise, but yeah nah don't do that. What I really like about paying 4 quid for this is that, if you fail, the game actively prevents you from playing it, so you gotta just reflect on your life choices until you can play it again. But yeah, that's really about it for this DLC thing. Is it worth it? Honestly, absolutely not. If you have the money for it and are an absolute nutcase for this game like me, I guess you could go for it. But unless anything you've seen here today has just absolutely blown your fucking socks off, I'd just recommend skipping this one. Even still, I suppose having permanent access to the undying arcade mode thing would be pretty nice. Well, it's not really permanent ownership, because we all know that all of this relies on the servers being kept up, and they obviously won't be up forever, but that's always been an issue with these games. Until IO ever finds a solution to this, which I doubt, this is just the way it has to be, unfortunately. So I, that about does it for this video. Leave a like if you've enjoyed what you've seen here today, maybe leave a comment on what you think about the DLC, and also potentially consider subscribing to the channel if you'd like to see more of me in the future. It's free to do so, and you can always change your mind later. Until next time, take care, and have a good one.